Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. It's Wednesday, January 20th. I'm Ira Cronin. Here's your News 5 update. After months of delays because of the COVID-19 outbreak, the El Paso County Jail, Leticia Stauk has been deemed competent to stand trial for the murder of her stepson for a second time. Preliminary hearings for Stauk are scheduled in March. Prosecutors say on those first days they won't be going over every bit of evidence they have, but say it'll be a good outline of their case. DA Michael Allen says there has been no talk of plea negotiations and he doesn't anticipate any. Colorado Governor Jared Polis says, Polis says we are now in phase 1B of our state's vaccine distribution effort to fight COVID. He says nearly 120,000 Coloradoans over the age of 70 will get their vaccines this week. And then the current goal is to get at least 70% of Coloradoans 70 and older vaccinated by the end of February. A new program looking to help teachers and students rebound and cope with the challenges of COVID-19. Harrison School District 2 and Cheyenne Mountain School District 12 both participating in the Mindfulness and Positivity Project, which was created by two Colorado Springs teachers through workshops and mentorships. Educators, along with students, learn how to manage stress and anxiety and cope with negative thoughts and increase happiness. A new important building open in Pueblo. The Pueblo County Department of Human Services introduced the Citizen Support Services Building on Tuesday. It's at the old Judicial Building on 10th Street near the Pueblo County Courthouse. Let's get a check of your forecast now with meteorologist Sam Schreier. Well, we're windy and warm out there today and then a little cooler and breezier by Friday. We do think that we're going to stay dry here through the weekend. There will be some heavy mountain snow through Saturday and Sunday, but for us only a few light flurries on Sunday afternoon. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know sponsored by Power Credit Union.